Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Armand Simmentals. This is Chris. But today we are actually going to clean out the barn. That does mean that we have a lot of moving around of animals. We're going to take those three three cows that are just north of the border and they're going to go in the long pen with those other couple of cows. Yeah, it should be a busy day. He's coming. The twins, mom, and that 53 cow are gonna go in the back half of the long shed, but I gotta set up a panel, but we can start cleaning and I can do that while dad's loading. Methinks somebody is lost. Hi, buddy. This is the little twin bull calf. He's definitely feeling better. Yeah, see, that's why mom was bellering. Uh, Dad's scraping a little bit right in front of the concrete pad there. He'll leave a good portion of that bed pack out there because it's nice and dry. But where he's taking it out from, that typically is the really wet spot uh, from where the water is draining off the, the driveway and all that stuff. Unfortunately, one of the worst spots is for me because I have to fork 95% of that out by hand.
so we got 98% of the stuff out of the barn. Uh, we still got to clean this water tank though uh, before we leave for the night. Um, but this is what it looks like. The bed packs out. You can still see there's obviously stuff left. Uh, but like I said, like 98% of everything is out of here. And then we'll put a new bale of stalks. The cows will spread it out for us. That's the nice thing about having good stalks. You can run it right down the middle and you don't really have to do a whole lot to it because the cows are going to come in here and they're going to play around and spread it all out for you. But these guys aren't too, aren't too bad to move around by yourself. So now this is why I like springtime and daylight savings time because it's like 20 after six and it is still really nice out. We got everybody bedded uh, just north of the border. We got uh, a fresh stock bale. Uh, inside we got a fresh stock bale. Uh, we got a pretty clean, it definitely, definitely needed it. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was really nice, and we couldn't have picked a, a better day to do it on. Hope you guys had a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? It is Wednesday afternoon, and Cora had her calf today. This little peanut. That is a little stinker. Nice job, Mama. Nice job, Mama. Huh? Nice job. But uh, she did have to work for it a little bit. We could tell on the cameras that one of the hooves was just a little bit back. Uh, you know, they're supposed to come out Superman style. Both feet fairly even. One was a little bit back. But she overcame that and got that stinker out. That is an FSS Dominion that I got from... Um, four star fleck and uh, I'm pretty darn happy about that one. If you know what I need. Nothing there. Nothing now. <laughs> tags you're going through. Well, 74. Four pound difference. That's not bad. Um, okay. And you need your start strong. That one you better juice up pretty good. Yeah. Come on. All right, she came in at a really nice size, uh, 70 pounds right on the money, and then uh, tape at 74. And she's she's very spunky. I think she's jumped on already, so she's been eating, and she's uh, she's off to the races. The heifer twin, we did start her on day one of the same treatment we gave the bull. Uh, Cause she was she was coughing the other day when or yesterday when we were cleaning barn, uh, and honestly, and she coughed for like two three minutes, and I was like, nope, I don't even want her to even get close to going downhill. So I'd rather get ahead of that. Another thing I'll say about Cora's, she's really really nice mom. Uh, 
she did have to work a little bit like i mentioned earlier so it took her a few seconds uh so it was like a minute uh and then she got up and went right to work i was able to watch her on the cameras today and i bet you she she probably cleaned for like it was like an hour <laughs> she cleaned on that sucker and I even have, I'll probably insert a couple little clips that I took that I recorded on my camera. Uh, it was kind of funny because like the calf, the calf was very alert. She just didn't get up right away. At one point she was sitting there and chewing on a corn stalk. So, but then it was probably like an hour and she got up and went right to sucking. She is sired by CFFS Balboa. Um, that is a bull that Stanley originally had sold to Brian Boyle, and then Brian actually sold him back to Stanley because uh, he is a really, really good heifer bull. Uh, and Cora, I think Cora calved at 70 pounds too. But uh, actually, if you're looking for a fleck bull, Boyle Ranch does have their spring bull sale going on in a little bit. I think it's right at the end of the month or early April. Um, so if you're looking for a fleck bull and you're in the uh, northwest Iowa area, you know, take a look at Boiler Ranch. I'll leave a link in the description. Because um, there'll be, I think he has a Balboa son, I think it's Hobo, um, that he has a, at least one bull sired by him. But he's got, there's some, there's some solid genetics there. So if you're looking for a bull, that's another spot. And I think I mentioned this when I was doing my Y Simmentals. Um, video but you know if you're at all concerned about <clears throat> if you're at all concerned about like fleck birth weights and stuff like that i mean that 70 pounds out of a heifer that's what we get that's what i want i want 70 pounds out of a heifer uh when last year we had our first round of calves out of bruno and i don't think he changed one birth weight of ours by more than a pound here or there and you can't you can't put that on a bull um, there's so many other factors that go with that and if you can get yourself a non-diluter fleck bull and if you have angus cows um, you're going to be happy with those calves hey how's it going uh it is thursday afternoon and we had a relatively busy day today um starting off at like 5 30 this morning we had this little girl out of our df 431 so yes heifer uh and that should be a mic drop because to her ai date she was due yesterday um and then midday actually late morning we had this guy a lot of chrome, a lot of chrome. So this is a Bruno and it's a bull calf, which is awesome. Um, he'll be, he'll turn into a steer, we'll make him a steer. And then out of our DG75 cow. She's a younger cow, uh, but really, really nice cow. Um, and she's, her bag, she's even dripping back there. So he's already been on, he's been sucking and very, very spunky. Come on, mom. Come on, back up. That's good girl. All right, so we're gonna try and walk this one up, but we do have a storm coming in. I don't necessarily wanna take a chance, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get her to go in there because she's gonna go around this big pile of manure and keep going to the right. Come on, follow photo. Follow photo. There we go. Guess the old glove toss worked. All right, like I said, that pile's in the wrong spot, or just in a bad spot, but 
if I would have kept going around and around, she would have won that battle. Um, so trying to go over the top spooks him a little bit, but it worked, I guess. And you know, the old glove toss. Yeah, girl. Hey, happy Friday. And looking around in the background, you'll notice, and we did get a little touch of winter. I changed my mind. So I decided I'm gonna take the shell off of their bale of hay and then I'm gonna take this core and I'm gonna throw it upstairs so I can put it downstairs. Cause then that way I gave them, that was one of those oats bales and they love the oats bales. And the other nice thing is that gives them some bedding. This is 87, 87 and 87. This one's like, oh, I should read. That one's like 87. 87, 87. 88, 87. One, two, one, two. His little berries were sucked up inside. So I'm trying to, trying to get them to work them back out and I couldn't keep them where they're supposed to be and hold his leg back and all that, you know, just was stupid. But whatever, I got him, one, two, one, two, you gotta double check. But um, we're gonna call this the end of the video, end of the day, end of the week since it is Friday. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you'd like to, hit that share button and share anything that we got if you wanna share it, say if you got any good ideas or anything like that. Or anybody just interested in the stuff that we got, hit that share button. And don't forget to subscribe. We don't want you missing out.